One of the most annoying features to build with in The Sims 4 is stairs. There are 29 staircases in The Sims 4. What would it look like if I tried to build a house using every single one? We're gonna find out. Let's go ahead and build this shell and then I'm gonna bring out all the stairs and like put them on my lot. I won't lie to you guys. I attempted this challenge already and I failed. I tried to build this like craftsman style mansion. I don't even know where I was going with it, honestly. But then I realized that there are a lot of staircases that kind of have cool patterns and match the Oasis Springs aesthetic. Whether it's like these jungle adventure ones with the blue and the red. We've got these base game ones which have some pretty gnarly swatches in there. And then same as like the Oasis Courtyard one. So going for like a craftsman style or like something along those lines was not working <laughs> at all. So that was realization number one. Realization number two is that we need to use a ton of platforms in this build because we need to use the stairs in literally every way possible. So we're gonna be using them for platforms, for going up and down. It's gonna be like a three-story house. Obviously, I wanna use these stairs in every opportunity that I can. I think it's gonna be a pretty modern build, but also with some like desert characteristics. This shell isn't perfect yet, but I think it's kind of the direction that I wanna go with it. And one thing that I've noticed is very underrated in Sims 4 building and pretty easy to navigate is half walls and using different variations of them. So you're gonna see me using different wall heights throughout this entire build just to give it a little bit of depth, especially because I don't plan on doing a traditional kind of roof on this. So using these half walls in like different heights, even just to like go around the outside of my build, it's gonna keep a very blocky square looking house from looking too one dimensional, if that makes sense. And look at that, that's so cool. I didn't have to use platforms. I'm already in a platform nightmare as it is. And then for the roof, we can also roof it with half walls. So I'm gonna go in with a pretty big one right there then go in with maybe a slightly smaller smaller one just to get those levels here. And you can already see just by me doing this, my house is kind of coming together and I'm not doing much. I'm literally tracing my shell. So after playing around with my half walls, this is what my shell is looking like. I've got this door from Get Famous. Actually, both of these are from Get Famous. I do want to get a pool back here, but since I am using platforms, it's kind of a pain in the butt to work around them. So I'm just going to delete them and we're going to build our pool in there. And I'm like, what if I did a built-in beach? I feel like that would be really cool. I got rid of that. I'm going to flatten out this terrain hopefully and then we can just build a little pool get like a platform going on there and then there's two more opportunities for stairs that I can use plus we have a cute little beach right there I wonder what I should put down there something cute I'm gonna give you some sunscreen you gotta stay protected there you go <laughs> Okay, so now that we've got the shape of our house figured out, I'm gonna get every single set of these stairs onto my lot in like the background. So I think I'm actually gonna just delete this stuff for now and put all of my stairs like right here. So now on my lot, I've got every single type of stairs right in front of me. And on this house, I have no set of stairs at all yet. So we're gonna take them and put them on. I think my strategy is going to be using all of the like white or dark brown ones first maybe, but then I'm gonna be left with all of the strange ones for the interior. Like, like all of the pattern ones I kind of want to get rid of. And I feel like they would be easier to use on the outside of my house than they would be on the inside. You know what I mean? What I'm going to do is take all of these style of stairs, like the ones with like the holes in the middle, and we're going to put these on the platforms, I think. So I'm going to just kind of go along and all of those stairs are going to end up there, which actually that little like step looks kind of cute. It's going to be the matching, which will be the problem. So my task is to make it as unnoticeable as possible. <laughs> what I don't want is someone to look at this and be like, oh yeah, that house has every set of stairs, clearly. I don't want that. I want you to look at this and be like, wow, what a beautiful modern desert house. And I think we've got that so far. Next, I'm going to tackle our beach area. So I'm going to get another set of stairs, one preferably that looks similar with the holes in it. Or honestly, this could be a good opportunity to use our more patterned ones. This one especially made me nervous. I'm going to use that one here. I actually really like how that looks there. We're going to do a different swatch though. There's a super cute like flower swatch in there that I like. Like, this is my favorite one from base game. And then let's also maybe bring in the Oasis Courtyard one. And if we get a match like that, obviously the patterns are different, but I think that kind of works. Okay, as of right now, I've only gotten rid of six stairs. So we're gonna go inside and probably pop in and out, start getting rid of these things. So I haven't made a layout, but I'm going to incorporate platforms into the layout when I'm building it. I wanna do a sunken living room and maybe even bring it all the way over. We could have this at the front door be like a bathroom and then we have like a little closet closet 
space right here. And my toilet and shower will be up on a platform. Every bed, it's gonna make for some really interesting rooms. I'm pretty excited to work with them this much in this build. I think we could do a kitchen over to this side, which I'm probably gonna put up. Just gonna up on another platform like that. And then this over here, I want this to be a big formal dining room. Like one that you would only go to if you're having people over. It's gonna be in that room. And I still need my stairs, which I think I'm gonna put right along the middle here. Let's just grab any random one. This one is calling my name, but I know that the swatches aren't that good. I think since stairs are so freaking prevalent in this build, I wanna build around them in a cool way somehow. Like I'm debating making this into a fountain or something in the middle of the living room. Oh, hey, I have a challenge for you. Hold on, okay. What build from videos and videos and videos ago this reminds you of? Let me know in the comments. All right, so my layout for this house is coming along. I've got all of my platforms in place and I still feel like I need more. Like upstairs, I'm doing two bedrooms. One has like a big platform right there. The other one has this. Those are where the beds are gonna go. And then in here, same with the bathroom. I'm trying to add little platform areas. Oh, I don't know. I don't know where I'm gonna put all these stairs. Let's start down below with the living room. So I know that I want my general living room area to be here. I'm going to be downloading art from my favorite art page on the gallery, which is holy schmo wow, no secret. I use this all the time. I plan on furnishing the interior in sort of like a desert aesthetic. I'm gonna download a few of these that I think are gonna match that. Ooh, look at these ones that I got. I think they're gonna be really pretty. I actually think maybe instead of putting the TV, that can go there. We can do a sectional moment here. I feel like I've been using these really often lately in a lot of my builds, but the problem is we don't have any other ones to choose from. And the sectionals really do have my heart at the moment. They just make it look so good and modern. I love them. I don't know. I hope the Sims team comes out with more. I think they were generally pretty well received by a lot of people. So hopefully I could see them kind of doing that, but we'll see. I can already just tell I'm gonna love this house and hear me out. Normally I love very cluttered builds, but something about the openness of this one in the way that it's just very clean looking. I love it. I really hope I can pull this challenge off. Okay, let's start bringing in some stairs. We'll have stairs right there. Those marble ones actually match my dine out thing, which I didn't really plan. So we'll have one set of stairs on that side. We'll do like another set of stairs on this side. I'm gonna lower this one more step so we can actually see the stairs like in action. But we got two sets of stairs out of the way. I'm happy. Let's turn around and start to do more of like this area. So I think I'm gonna grab one of these pictures again because that was like the central point of my build. I just don't really know which one. Part of me also wants to keep these pictures at like full height because they're so iconic. So you know what? I'm gonna do that. We're gonna work around this picture. I don't know where we're gonna put this rug, but I'm gonna put it somewhere, maybe right there. Okay, so this part of the house is coming along. Now I need stairs for like here. Any white stairs will do. I still have some good options left. What if I used three white swatches together? How awful would that be? Like, can I get away with it? Do you think? How similar do you think the swatches are? I'm literally trying to rearrange these right now, like in some sort of mix and match. I think those two can look together just fine. Those will have a pass. These ones are just, they're fine. They just are a little bit different in length. Oh, that one's really good. That one matches like perfect. Oh, that's good. You know what? If I can put all of these right here, all white ones, that would be great. I've got those ones, which all match really well. These ones could definitely go for like a bathroom. So I'm going to bring these in here. I do still have some like brick ones that I'm going to have to worry about. No idea what we're going to do with that. Here's how we're going to solve this problem. So when you walk in the house, you're going to probably walk like this way, right? The best matching white stairs are going to be right front and center. And then the other two that are kind of wonky are going to be behind the corner. All right, let's work on the kitchen. So over here, this is a very big space for a kitchen. I'm kind of excited. So we can wrap all the way around this way. A big open kitchen. This is a very like artsy house. Do you know what I mean? Like look at the pictures I just put on the wall. The color scheme is a little out there. I still haven't used this new salt and pepper thing. Look how cute it is. This is base game. It was one of the new like delivered items. It's so small and adorable. Oh wait, where are those hanging things? Speaking of, another item that I totally forgot about that we got in the free recent Sims 4 update is this one. Man, I feel like with the holidays and everything, I just completely forgot about this, but it's so cute. I don't know where to put it. I've just put a little bit of like wine storage over in the corner. Like I guess I can put it there, but I feel like you would want it to be a little bit more easily accessible. You know what I mean? Maybe I'll put it right there. So our kitchen is looking really cute. It feels so weird leaving empty space. I'm working on it. All right. And then finally, we're going to work on this room here. Do Should I put something up on a platform? Like I may as well, right? It would be very squishy. Unless we like sectioned this off, put a platform up here and then our stairs are going to go here. <laughs> this build is so funky. I feel like because of all these freaking platforms. All right, that's going to work. Let's go get another set of stairs. If I can keep to the white, which I've been doing, that would be kind of nice. That's been the best way to keep it kind of consistent, but I'm noticing 
to think we're getting down to the uh, nitty gritty here. I feel like those two aren't a perfect match, but at least they're not right beside each other. I'm going to keep it separate. And then down below, maybe I'll do like an end table here or even an ottoman could be really cute. Let's do an ottoman. Like vintage glamour in that pink swatch maybe? Or even the gold? And maybe since this is meant to be a fancier room, I could do the vintage glamour chandelier too. Oh, this one is going to get the nice chairs. You're like not allowed to enter this room unless you plan on dining with the... Queen. This rug is from Get Famous. Super cute swatch. Now we just gotta decorate. Okay, this is cute. I really like this style today. I have how many stairs left? I have 10 more stairs. Oh my gosh. Okay, so all of these stairs that I have left are gonna have to go upstairs. But this is what our house is looking like. Looking super cute. Let's go upstairs. We still have an entire floor I have to furnish. Wait, I have two more floors. <gasps> Not me forgetting entirely about the third floor. Uh-oh. I don't know what I'm gonna put up there now. Uh-oh. Oh no. Okay, this whole floor is going Going to be stairs right here. Comment if you were waiting for me to realize. Do I have any cute like indoor stairs left even? Like I could get away with these probably in a different color. Oh, I am not a big fan about how that's turned out, but that's how it's gonna have to be. Oh shoot. This is what happens when you don't do three stories that often. You just forget. Well, I guess someone's gonna get a penthouse. Dang, this is the whole opportunity for more. Wait, wait, wait. Now we need to use our brains. How can I use brick stairs up here in a way that won't be weird? Upstairs could be a gym, I guess. Everything is gonna be fine. Great even. I love using platforms in every room in my house. It is really fun using not only every single staircase in the game, but constant use of platforms. You know what? Those brick stairs look pretty good. Those are the seasons ones. I don't mind that. And then maybe I can turn and we go up again over here. I don't know what we're gonna be working out. I guess the metal stairs also work in this situation. And then upstairs, I didn't even realize I had another patio up here. I could put my stairs up here too. And this is gonna be another seating area slash potential workout area. Like we could do this whole part as like an outdoor workout sesh thing. Get some doors and then we can put these stairs here. And then there's another brick one out of the way. And then what do these look like? Do we have any matching swatches to that one? And now I can do like a punching bag back there. That's tons of room for that. We can do treadmills right here. Is that the same machine? I think that's the same. It does the same thing for your muscles. All right, our gym is coming along. I've got our two sets of stairs over here and then the two over on the platform. And on the platform, I think I'm just gonna to do some like yoga. We'll put a yoga mat out here and maybe a couple plants around. Make it zen, you know. I'm trying to make this look like it wasn't a complete afterthought because it wasn't. I planned this the whole time. And our gym is done. So I've got my three or four extra pieces of stairs that I used and now I have four left. And I still have the bathrooms and the bedrooms that I have to do, but that means I have to use these stairs in my bedroom. I'm gonna get this one out of the way. I'm nervous about this one. Let's bring this downstairs into probably the second bedroom, like the more smaller one, because I bet you I could make a really colorful, like maybe not kids room because I didn't put anything else for them here, but I could do just maybe a guest room, a more colorful guest room. And the swatch of those stairs don't look that bad. Probably not the most comfortable things ever, but it's fine. We'll maybe get like that color in there. We'll get a bed. The lighting from these windows looks really pretty too. At the same time that I'm doing this, I'm also trying to plan ahead for this bedroom here because I'm going to use the last like normal stairs, like the wooden stairs that I have for my bedroom here. Here. I'm keeping the same style up here, definitely with that like color scheme, the desert vibes that I've been using. Then on this side, I've gone in with these basic darks that look really nice with the color scheme of the entire house. It's very earthy tones. This house is giving off almost like staged home vibe. I'm gonna finish off with a chair in the corner there. We'll get something big to put up on my wall and then I can move on to do the bathrooms, which are gonna take up the final stairs of this house, of this challenge. Finally, our second bedroom looking really cute. We're gonna be able to move on to the bathrooms where our final stairs are gonna go. So I have this bathroom here. We're gonna take maybe the blue one. This is from Island Living. It's meant to be like a lava stone staircase with some spotty tiles and I can go in and get my shower up there. My toilet can go up there as well. All we need on the other side is a sink. And I mean, it's not the greatest obviously, but given what we got, I'm, I'm not mad about it. I'll take it. We even have room for a little plant in the corner. There we go. And then downstairs, I might have to do a little bit of maneuvering because I had another piece of stairs already in there. So that one is just gonna have to go right beside
beside this one, I think. These are the same stairs. Even though they're a little bit off, that leaves one left for the bathroom. Just this one here. I'm gonna work it around that color scheme, make the tiles match. Little towel there too. And then on the other side, we can do the toilet and the sink. I even have one more cute little picture that I haven't used yet. And there we go. That's gonna be our house finished. I really wanna go in live mode so I can see the fountain. There we go. Now we've got the fountain working in the middle of the living room. This is such a cute house. I hope you guys enjoyed this build challenge because I am big time in love with it. This will be on the gallery under City Macarota if you guys want to download it. If you guys like the video, please comment, give a thumbs up. It really helps me out. Also, don't forget to subscribe so that you know when my next videos are posted. And that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.